Okay, guys, I think we're live. So it is 9-1-2002. We survived our Zoom meeting along with power outage and then Zoom dropped because the routers weren't up. But, whew, man, brutal. Okay, so today's lesson, right? What is a function? Okay, it's super important. Here's what you need to write in your notes, okay? It's where every x has only one y value, okay? All right, let me show you an example. Okay, I've got a number of lattes that I wanna buy for the day and $2 and $4, right? If I order one latte, there's only one price. There aren't two different prices. It's impossible. Or shirts. If I order, if I buy one shirt, there's only one price. You can't have two prices. So every X value can only have exactly one Y value. Okay? That is a function. So if I had another point up here, right there, it wouldn't work. That is not a function. You can't have one X value with two different Y values. It doesn't make sense. Okay? So, there's this thing called the vertical line test, which makes it really easy, okay? If you can draw a vertical line, let me write that down. Vertical line test, vertical line test. If I can draw a line straight down, and if it hits the point, if it hits in more than one point, it's not, not a function. But if I get rid of that, then it is. Okay, the vertical line test. So let's take a look. Here's a straight line. Is that a function? Yeah. See, only x, one y, one y, see the vertical line. If I draw straight down, I only hit the graph in one spot. There are no two y values, okay? So that's a yes, that's a function. Okay, same thing here. This is a yes, it is a function, yes. Now, we're not going horizontal. That's a totally different thing. So yes, this is a function, yes. But it's like really one, two, three graphs together. See, one, two, three, like I get a line a parabola line. So yes, but that's going to be called a piecewise function. We're going to talk about that today. Okay. Uh, number three, this one right here. Point, 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 point. Yeah, there is no two y's. There's no two y's. So yes, that's a function. But this one's got a problem right there. It's got an x value and two y values. So this is no way that is not, not a function. Okay, this one looks weird, but it looks like it's almost no, but since that's open, this point doesn't count. So this one's solid, this one's open, so I'm gonna say yes, that is a function because this point here is only counted here, but not there. So it's no, there are not two y values for one point, okay? So that's what a function is for us for right now, okay? One x, one y, okay? One x, two y is not good. So let's talk about this thing called piece y's function, okay? So a piecewise function, what is it? It's two or more graphs pieced together. Pieced together. They don't have to necessarily connect. Sometimes they do. But in this case, this line connects with this line, but doesn't connect here. As long as it's a function and more than one graph. So this is a piecewise function, okay? So if I go along the graph, here I got the straight line, and then it jumps down to here. It goes along here, and then hits the next line. Okay, so there's three different lines. So um, I do see three different graphs. I see line one, two, and three. Now, is this function? Yes, it is definitely a function because it passes the vertical line test, or there's only one x for one y. Okay, this, none of these x values have two y, so this is yes. Now, what does this mean? Find f of zero. All right, well, f of zero, that's like the x value, okay? That's an x value of zero. So the answer to this question, we're looking for its height or y value. So what is the, what is the y value? All right, let's see I can do this. Okay, so if I go to zero, it's right here. So right here, my graph touches 
right there, the y value is 1. So f of 0 is 1. f of 4, okay, so let's find an x value of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, there it is. And what's the height or the y value? It is also 4. It's that right there, okay? f of 4 is 4, because that's its height. f of negative 2. So go x value, x value of negative 2, go 1, 2, negative 2. Now, here it is, but that's an open circle, okay? That's an open circle, so it doesn't count. So we pop up to here, and there's its answer at positive 2. That's a little tricky, but that's how it works. You want that particular y value. Okay, then, no problem. Now, this next example, we don't get a graph, but we have three different equations, okay? So what we have, and we'll do this another day. I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to give you an idea of what we're going to do. Okay. You're going to have at negative 2, you're going to have a graph at negative 2. Okay. Positive 4, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, right? And then x equals 3, it's going to be like up here like this, okay? So it's kind of a weird graph. So instead of graphing it, that's the hard way because that's all the equations. What we want to know is just plugging it in. So g of 0, let's see, first we got to find out where it fits. Okay, g of 0, where is the 0? Is 0 between 1 and 4? Nope, so don't take that answer. Is 0 between negative 1 and 1? Yes, so what I want to do, since 0 is in this domain, I want to plug it into here. So it's going to go in, and we're going to take it. So take the 0, it fits in there, 0 is in between, negative 1, 1. Put there, so we're going to get a negative 0 plus 4, because I'm going to take my 0, plug it in for x, x value, and I get an answer of 4. Okay? g of 3, let's see. Um, is 3 between 1 and 4? Yes. Okay, so I'm not going to plug it in here because 3, being an x value, don't plug it in here because 3 is not between negative 1 and 1. And 3 is not less than negative 1, so I want to put 3 here. So 3 belongs here, so let's plug it in. So to plug it in, there's no x to plug it in. can't plug 3 in because there's no x, so the answer is just negative 2. Okay, g of negative 3. Let's see, is negative 3 between 1 and 4? No, so don't use that. Is negative 3 between negative 1 and 1? No, so don't use this. Is negative 3 less than negative 1? Yeah, so negative 3 has got to go into this equation. So I try and plug it in, but there's no x. Can't plug it into x, so the answer is just 3. Okay, finally, g of negative 1. Let's see, negative 1. g of negative 1. Is negative 1 in between here, 1 and 4? No, negative 1 does not fall between negative 1, or between 1 and 4. Is negative 1 between negative 1 and 1? Yeah, it is. Um, and it says it can even equal, see the little equal sign here? I'm not going to put it here because there's no equal to. It equals it here. So I plug it into here. So I plug it into How do I plug it in? i got to plug it into the x. So I'm going to take my negative, negative 1 plus 4, because I'm taking my negative 1 and plugging it in for x because that falls within that domain. So I'm going to plug it in there, okay? Well, negative, negative 1 is positive 1, right? Negative, negative, positive 1 plus 4 is 5, okay? So... Our homework today, again, is out of your journal. We're going to go to page 10, and I'll show you page 10. Okay, page 10. You're going to do the 1 through 9 all, and I will have an extra on the assignment. You'll see it, okay? Anyway, if you have any questions, email me, call me, or we can Zoom all of this on Wednesday, okay?